In today's message, I want to tell you why the rebellious will always suffer in relationships. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, in the word, the Most High Yah says, these people are rebellious people. You know, he often talks about people that refuse his wisdom, you know, people that don't want to hear truth. And then you can read about the different struggles and tribulations that you will have because of a rebellious spirit. Man, and there are, you know, men and women out here who have a rebellious spirit, a prideful spirit, but they don't know it. They don't know it. Somebody's got to say something to you to possibly provoke that spirit up out of you and then you realize you have to deal with it. Man, you have a lot of men and women that will never experience true companionship. They will only experience that of, you know, uh, fornication and sexual immorality or, or sexual transactions because a lot of the dating pool, that's what it's made up of. Let me, let, let this thing be transactional. Who's giving up some, who's giving up some shaft? Who's giving up some booty? You know, now they got apps and stuff like this, but man, there's great coverage in being in a marriage, a great level of coverage. Man, there's days, you know, because of how I've been raised and reared, the line of work that I do, my wife can look at me and say, you know what, you don't look good. You know, not talking about vain beauty, but she can say, you don't look healthier up like you you know, up to par as you normally do. And, and my mindset is, you know, I'm always embracing the suck as far as what I do for a living. So I push through where my wife is able to, you know, be that coverage, that voice of reason and say, hey, you might need to go to the doctor. You know, let me check your temperature, take some medication because I'll go the complete opposite direction in my hardness and then by the time that I do see help, you know, now I'm having to lay in the bed and it got a lot worse. You know, I'll use Kevin Samuel as example. You know, Kevin Samuel died, you know, not having that high level of companionship. He died in the arms of a woman who he possibly was having just a fling with. You know, when it came out, the story came out it came out that they weren't in any kind of serious, you know, tight relationship or anything like that. But the coverage is you could have somebody that can be around you and witness these signs in you and you going through it and they can help save your life. But that's if you listen, man, there's times where I had to be the voice of reason for my wife and saying, Hey, you know, don't go about this that way. Don't go about it this way or, you know, you don't look good. Hey, you need to take better care of yourself. Take some of these vitamins, you know. Uh, go get this looked at. Don't let this go unanswered. And you'd be surprised how much longer life and prosperous life you can live just having somebody that knows, you know, how you normally function. A lot of people that are rebellious, they lack patience. Oftentimes they're looking for this perfect woman or perfect man and failing to realize, man, we all need the obedience of Hamashiach. You know, we all need to be following in his footsteps. And the Most High Yah has put a, he's put a rank structure in place with the Most High Yah being the head of Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, you know, Hamashiach, 
being the head of man, man being the head of woman, but you have rebellious people that don't want to answer to that. You have a lot of men that have gone uh, so-called MGTOW, and ultimately what's happened is a woman, you know, will call them out on their BS and make them realize that they're not who they say they are. And they say, you know what? I'm going to turn to a life of sexual immorality or fornication, you know, and you can keep up this image and this facade that you're alpha and you're this, but man, your, your, your leadership as a man is not going to be tested until you've, you know, uh, been in a relationship, a committed relationship or a covenant with a woman. You have women that refuse to be in relationships because they're prideful and they're rebellious. They don't want to submit to the authority of a man and the most high y'all put that authority, that symbol of authority on their head for protection. You know, this Sabbath day, I'll be doing a, a teaching, you know, shout out to the brother, uh, Nathaniel Nelson. I think on my last Shabbat message, he asked me to do a teaching on women obeying their covering but I'm actually gonna hit that at all levels because there is a price to pay for protection and a lot of people aren't willing to pay for it and they struggle and suffer outside of it. To all of the women out there that say that they don't need a man and say that they don't need that, especially if you got children, man, I want you to realize one day your children are gonna grow up and live their own lives. They may move far away from you and right now you might be able to do the things independently that you say, I don't need anybody and I got this happiness and this stuff, but you gotta understand, you came into this world, somebody wiping your butt and you might leave out of this world with somebody having to wipe your butt. You want somebody that's been there consistently with you to do that so you don't suffer. You know, this is why you see a lot of older women, you know, uh, talking about how miserable they are and if they could go back and do it again, they would have done some things differently. Men, you know, you're strong right now. You might think you don't need a woman, but who's gonna, who are you gonna pass your legacy on to? You know, what will be your lineage? You know, that strength that you have, what happens when you start to wither and because of the great care that you've exercised in taking care of a woman, she's able to, you know, help get you where you need to be to make sure you know she does you good all the days of your life but in order to have the things that i'm talking about man it takes an investment it takes an investment of consistency and obedience to the most high yah and if you're not willing to give those things man you're gonna you're gonna you know suffer in loneliness you're gonna watch your kids grow up and a lot of people make the mistake of trying to put the burden of them wanting to be independent and the most high y'all never created for you created you to be like that they try to put that burden on the kids and you that reason you have son husbands and all of these different things but rebellious people will always struggle in relationships especially marriage you know you gotta humble yourself if you want to be successful in a relationship closer to y'all ministries kicking it gun barrel straight